Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. It is Saturday around one o'clock and we just got back. We went to the gym and we just got back from Aldi's. I have a small Aldi's haul that I'm gonna share with you. I also went to Marshall's and some skincare items that I thought I, I might share as well if anyone's interested to see what I got for Marshall. For skincare products, I wanted to try some new things. I don't wanna pay full price for something that I don't like or it doesn't really work. So I got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna share that stuff with you. But first, let me go through my Aldi's haul and show you what I got. So this is what I got from Aldi's. I will start with the veggies and fruits. I got a bag of the sweet butter lettuce. I also got a Caesar salad kit. I won't use the dressing on that, but I like the Caesar salad. I got a bag of pink lady apples, and these were a good price at $3.49, I believe. Also got a bag of cuties. These were about $3.50 as well. I did get almond milk, and I only got it from there because I did not want to go to another store. It's the unsweetened, but I don't like all those ingredients. I probably won't get this again. I should have just went to the store. And I should have just, because I could just make my own in my Vitamix, my own almond milk. But I did get that. It's fairly, um, it's very reasonable in price, but it does has too much ingredients. I also got the chopped walnuts, and it is just chopped walnuts. I got this to put on salads. Got some mini cucumbers some red peppers, red onions, not peppers. I got an avocado and I got this vanilla bean dessert hummus. I usually get the caramel dessert hummus from all these, but they didn't have it. Now this is their new one that they have in. So I'm gonna give this a try. I hope it's as good as the caramel because I really love that. Let's take a look. So this one, it's pretty much the same thing. It's um, chickpeas, water, sugar, a little bit of oil, um, natural flavors, vanilla, tapioca starch. There's yeast in here. Hmm. So it's the same calorie wise. It's 60 calories for two tablespoons and two and a half grams of fat. I'll just use a tablespoon of this at a time. I like to use this for pretzels, for apples, as a snack. I will let you know is, if this is any good. So I did get some bread items. Thank you. The same bread that I always get from Aldi's. I like this for French toast. I got my daughter some soft pretzels. And I believe these, let's see the ingredients on these. There is some corn syrup in here, but she really likes these. I did get some taco shells. I got some laundry detergent, some Cascade. My daughter got her some shavers. These were $2.79. And I did pick up the pasta sauce that I was telling in my last video. I talked about pasta sauce and how I try to get it no more than one gram of fat or less. But all these, and I believe Trader Joe's is the only ones that I have found that have it for zero fat. And it's really good. This is organic pasta sauce. So I did get two of these. I got the marinara and I got the tomato basil. I also picked up these flatbreads. I want some I want some pizza this weekend, so instead of doing that, I'm going to make my own using the flatbread. Now there's two in here. Each flatbread would be about 600 calories, so you can eat half for 300. Let's see how much fat. Three and a half grams of fat. So I am going to make some pizza. I will film that, how that turns out. I'll probably put some spinach, some onions, peppers, make it a little veggie pizza. I'll use some of this sauce. I'll let you know, I'll, I'll film how that works out. I did have got some of these meal 
containers, meal preparation containers. They were only $4.99. I didn't really need it, but I have a few. But I thought I'd pick up a pack of that. Got some paper plates. And that is about everything that I got from Aldi's. And I will show you what I got from Marshall's. So here's everything I got from Marshall's. The first thing that I did get, I'll go over my cleansers first. So this is a Kapori Tropical Glow Cleanser. And this has, um, it's a cleanser that helps with brightening. That's what it says. It has pineapple and papaya enzymes. And this was $8.99. This is for a full size, a 4.5 ounce. This is vegan, cruelty free. And I, this is made with coconut. I know they have a natural deodorant in this brand. So I'm gonna give this a try. And $8.99 is not bad for a full size cleanser. Also got this other cleanser. This is also a, um, a red algae coconut oil facial cleanser. by Vitamin C Beauty, and this was $2. This one um, is oil-based, so it's easier to take off makeup. That's why I got this one to give a try. Also got a Rose Hip Oil Vitamin E Face Oil Serum, and this was $5.99. And I've been looking for a rose oil for my face because it's really good for fine lines and wrinkles. The brand that I loved um, was discontinued. So I got that and this was also vegan. For exfoliators, I'm going to try this blue mud mask exfoliant. So it's a mask and an exfoliant. So you scrub it on and then you leave it for about 10 minutes. And this one was $3 at Marshall's. I also got this serum to try. This is a Thousand Roses Absolute Serum. And this is a day and night serum made from roses. So you can put this in the morning. Then I'll put my sunscreen, my makeup at night. I'll put this on and then I'll put my rose oil over it. And this one was $3.50. And I got everything here from the clearance aisle. Thought I'd give that a try. And this is from Fruit Stem Cell Science. I actually never heard of this brand, but we'll see. I did get an eye cream. So from Fenley, I got a retinol and peptide deep sleep eye serum. I got this to try at night. And it's a pretty big bottle. This is one full ounce. And this was $4.99. I'm having trouble finding a good eye cream that I like. Um, but I'm going to give that a try. And I did get one other type of exfoliant that I forgot about. This is the Burst, the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel. This is glycolic acid. So you put it on, leave it, and take it off in the morning. Um, this is one full ounce, and this was $3. I don't know where the box is, but this was $3 as well. And this is cruelty free, and it's for dullness and it's anti-aging. The last thing that I got was this milk highlighter. It's this is what it looks like. Basically with this, I've seen this before on Amazon. What I think is you just put it to give you a little highlight. And it's supposed to go with whatever skin tone you are. I don't know if you could see. Kind of like that. You just highlight wherever you need a highlight. 
I did get this. This was about $4 as well. So everything on this table was about $37. And that's a lot of products. It's about eight items for $37. Now they all may not be great. So I will let you know if they're any good, what product lines I do like. But I thought I'd give this a try. I did get one other thing that I forgot to show. I did get this cucumber and aloe mask. And this was a dollar to give a try as well. So that is everything I got from Marshalls. We'll see how, you know, how they end up working out. I think I'm going to really like this cleanser and uh, I know I like this and this oil next time you're in Marshalls or any TJ Maxx store go to the clearance aisle and see what they have you never know I decided to give this vanilla bean hummus a try from Aldi's and let you know what I think right now here it goes let's see Let me smell it first. Okay. It does smell like it has vanilla in it. I'm gonna use some pretzels. Some pretzels here. It's really good. I guess this brand, anything they make in this Aldi twice as nice in their hummuses, all of them are really good. This is really good. I'm the only one eating out of this container, so I can dip. This is definitely a try. I'm trying to think if I like it better than the caramel. I don't know, I might. This is really good. So if you're at, at Aldi's, give this a try. It is delicious. I'll see you guys soon. Hey, I am about to make the flatbread pizza and I told you I would come on and show you how I did it. This is gonna be simple and fast. This is the flatbread I'm gonna use, the one I got from Aldi's today. And I'm going to use for my marinara sauce. I'm going to use this tomato and basil pasta sauce. I have some spinach here I'm going to use. Organic spinach. Some garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and some black pepper. I cut up some onions and red bell pepper. And that's what I'm going to pop my pizza with. And I'll show you how it all comes together. Okay, so to my flatbread, I'm going to add my sauce. I'm not going to put too much, just a little. I have my oven heated to 410 degrees. That's about all I'm gonna put. And even though this is already a tomato and basil pasta, I'm still gonna add a little bit of the Italian seasoning to it. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. And some black pepper. I also am going to add a little bit of my Parmesan, my faux Parmesan. This is the nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, cashews. So I am going to add a little bit of this. And I just make a bunch of this up and store it in the fridge. And it does last a long time. It does get a little clumpy after a while. Okay with that? Just 
This just gives the pizza a little bit extra flavor. That's about it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my red onion and the red bell peppers. some spinach on it as well. Then I'm going to put this in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'll keep a good watch on it. And that is it simple weekend pizza. I'll let you know how it looks when it comes out. So here's the pizza out of the oven. Right there. I'll go ahead and cut it. So I left it about 10 minutes. If you want it more crispy, I would leave it at number five. That's pretty crispy though. Yeah, it's pretty crispy. And that's how it looks. It's a looks pretty looks really good. I'm gonna taste a little piece. really hot. I'll taste a little piece. This crust is really good. It tastes exactly what it is, flatbread. It's really, really good. And for if I was to eat this whole thing, which I might, this will be about 600 calories. I'm not really counting because everything else is veggies, the spinach. So this would be a 600 calorie dinner. You can pair this with the salad, some veggies. I'm gonna do some hummus, probably with an apple to go along with this. So it's a fairly, it's you know lower than calorie than me buying a pizza from Papa John's or Pizza Hut, and it kind of is gonna help me with that craving. So I'm not completely depriving myself of pizza tonight. I love pizza. So this is a, a good substitute. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed watching. I will see you in a few days. Please hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to see more videos, hit the little bell. Have a great weekend. Bye.